Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Siti Fatimah binti Haji Ahmad Zabidi. I'm from Center for Mathematical Sciences, University of Malaysia, Pahang. Today, I'm going to teach you integration of vector functions. From your module is 2.2.4. 2.2.4, integration of vector functions. The definite integral of a continuous func vector function are can be defined as follows. Suppose you are given vector r, you have function ft uh, vector i, uh, gt vector j, and ht vector k. You can write this as r t equivalent to function ft vector i plus gt vector j plus hk ht vector k so if you need to integrate uh, definite integration you have to integrate term by term you integrate f separately g separately and h separate separately this example 2.2.4.1 we need to evaluate uh, the first one is definite integral because indefinite integral because we don't have the limit of integration second problem we need to evaluate the same vector function but now we have limits of integration so this is definite integral and the last one we are given definite integral with this vector function now let's look at the solution for the first one we need to integrate 3t squared plus 4t cubed uh, with respect to t so for i we have for i we have 3t squared so if we integrate 3t squared dt we will get 3t cubed divided by 3. Of course, you need to add c. So, that 3 and this 3 cancels off. So, you get t cubed. And this one, for this one, you integrate 4t cubed with respect to dt. So, add 1 power to that t, you get 4 t or 4 divided by 4 of course you need to add another c so the first one you put c1 second one you put c2 and this 4 cancels off so you get this one you can rewrite this in this form or you can write it in this form but for the second problem, you need to evaluate this from 0 to 2. So you will get that value here, get that value here, and then you substitute 2 and 0. For 2, when you substitute 2, you get 2 to the power of 3, which is 8, and 2 to the power of 4, which is 16. You put 0 in, you get 0, 0. So your result will be this. For the third problem, we need to integrate vector r. And vector r is given as 2 cos t vector i, sin t vector j, and 2 t vector k. So we integrate term by term. Integrate component for i, g and k separately. So if you still recall, if you can recall back what is uh, integration of cos t, this is supposed to be sin t. If you integrate sin, remember you have to have minus cos t. So if you integrate cos to cos t, you get 2 sin t. If you integrate sin t you get negative cos t 
and if you integrate if you remember integration of t to t is equivalent to you add 1 to t to the power of t here you add 1 so you get 2t squared divided by 2 so that 2 cancels off so you get t squared okay so then you need to evaluate from pi over 2 to 0 so substitute pi over 2 for sine t sine pi over 2 is 1 so you have 2 2 times by 1 substitute z, uh, pi over 2 here for cos t you get 0 substitute pi over 2 for t squared you get t squared over 4 then you substitute 0 in sine 0 is 0 but cos 0 is 1 so you have minus here minus 1 and you put 0 for t squared here you get 0 here so your answer is 2 2 for vector i for vector j you have minus and minus here to get plus plus 1 and for vector k you have pi squared divided by 4 in the example 2.2.4.2 we need to solve inertial value problem in this problem you are given the r prime here you need to solve it and you are given this condition so let's uh, find what is r r is actually the integration of r prime so you integrate r prime here to get t to the power of 4 plus c1 you call it c1 for the first constant and for the vet for the j component you need to integrate e to the power of 2t but you remember if you integrate e to the power of a t you get e to the power of a t you divide it by a and you have to add c a constant c so you can rewrite it like this so here a here is 2 so e to the power of 2t will give you e to the power of 2t divide by 2 plus some constant call it c2 and for vector for vector k here you have 3 so you have integrate to get 3t plus another constant call it c3 so let's uh, find what is r given the condition here next we are go going to use the initial condition given in the module so in the module there is some typing error here r at 0 is vector i plus actually this should be 3 over 2 so this would be 3 over 2 vector j and 3, ve 3 vector k so you substitute the value t in the previous uh, solution that you have so for r0 you get 0 plus c1 for vector i e to of 0 divided by 2 for plus c2 for vector j and 0 plus c3 for vector k so you compare with the condition given here so vector i plus 3 over 2 vector k plus 3k so you compare this one and this so the component for vector i c1 is equivalent to 1 for vector j e to of 0 is 1 so e to of 0 is 1 so this half plus c2 is equivalent to 3 over 2 and for vector k here you compare k here so c3 should be equivalent to 3 so your result here will be c1 equivalent to 1 c2 equivalent to 3 over 2 minus half will give you 1 and c3 is equivalent to 3 so you have to then substitute the values for c1 c2 and c3 in your solution that you have now i would like you to do exercise 2.2 number 10 and number 11 
Number 10, you need to evaluate the indefinite integral because there is no limit for the integration. And for number 11, you need to evaluate the, evaluate the definite integral because you have limits of integration. Now, I also need to, to do exercise 2.2, number 12. Because in this problem, number 12, you need to solve the initial value problem. Notice that for R prime, we need to solve R prime, you are given one condition. Here also you have R prime, we also have one condition. For R dot prime, we have two conditions because you need to integrate twice. So good luck. I hope we can do all those problems. If you have any problem, please let me know. Okay, thank you.